بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاطرین سواتی از ہیئر فرام بایو سائنسز وتھ شاطرین سواتی اینڈ تھینک یو فار یور فیڈ بیک یو آر لسننگ اینڈ واچنگ مائی لیکچر آئی ایم ویری تھینک فل فار یور فیڈ بیک سو ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ مائی لیکچر اینڈ دس لیکچر از فرام اینیمل سیریز وچ از انورٹیولر سیریز اینڈ آئی ہیڈ ڈلیور Uh, four lectures before about the uh, different phylums from invertebrate series and today I will deliver the lecture uh, about the phylum Annelida. So before delivering the lecture, I have a very humble request to all of you. Kindly subscribe my channel, Bioscience with Shati and Savati and like my videos, share my videos. If you are sharing the videos, you are sharing the lectures, you are sharing the knowledge. So keep watching, keep sharing knowledge with other. Now I'm going to start my lecture about the phylum, uh, phylum Annelida. Uh, you can uh, observe all these animals, especially earthworm in the rainy seasons around you and leech too. Uh, you can observe uh, around you people. So keep uh, Uh, observing all these things uh, around you because this will be this will be helpful to you in understanding the all the phylums like phylum annelida porifera platyhelminthes mostly you can observe these organisms around you so earthworm which is very common and today i will deliver the lecture about the earthworm family means phylum annelida So what are annelidas? Annelida worms, basically these are the segmented worms. They show the metameric segmentation. First of all, the most important characteristic about the annelidas, like uh, you see the molluscas uh, have soft body and arthropods have jointed bodies. Uh, uh, legs are jointed uh, feet similarly many other platyhelminthes are flat worm and nematodas are ascalmanthes round worm similarly annelidas they are segmented worms they are segmented worms like uh, you can observe the um, earth form which is segmented and many more like leech you can see very uh, segmented and show the metameric segmentation so metameric segmentation these are the identical or almost identical repeating body parts i will show you these are what metameric segments are identical repeating body parts and because of this characteristic because of this segmentation they have a frequent uh, asexual asexual reduction way uh, their body their segments break down and each segment have an ability to regenerate into a new organ so metameric and their segments are complete each segment has its own gonads has its uh, excretory system you will see so these segments are complete and identical each segment has the, its known own nervous system like in ganglia each and everything is in each segment is complete so these sorts of segments are known as identical segments and these are repeating uh, all the annelids have coelom so they are coelomate they are triploblastic i have discussed what is triploblastic and what is coelom they have bilateral symmetry now you people are familiar with the bilateral and radial symmetry and these have a close circulatory system i will discuss all these points step by step these have ganglia in each segment and brain found in the head and from that brain you will see in the diagram that nerve cords arises and these nerve cords connect all the ganglia in all the segments of these worms so what they are coelomate they are triploblastic they are, have bilateral symmetry they have closed circular system they have brain they have ganglia in each segment so this is 
these are the general characteristics of the phylum annelida now i'm moving you can see here the segmented very delicate and more precisely arranged segments you can see these are the segments all these segments are known as metameric segment now the concept is clear and these organisms have complete elementary canal means they have mouth at one end and anus at the other end and i will discuss it in digestive system so you can see here these organisms that's why they are bilateral symmetrical animals is it clear now these have metameric segments all the segments are complete segments identical segments okay now you can see the brain and you can see the heart there is no specific or uh, you can say that central heart the heart consists of many chambered many parts and you can see the nerve cords i will discuss each and every thing step by step blood vessels digestive tract coelom is it clear now this is the overall general characteristics of the phylum annelidus now i am moving towards the next slide now i will uh, discuss the body system what are the body systems first of all i will discuss about the excretory system annelidus have very precise and specific uh, uh, excretory organ that is the nephridia nephridia these are the small tube you can see here the structure of the nephridia these are nephridia these nephridia open inside the each segment each segment has nephridia you can see here each segment this is one segment second segment and many more each segment has its own nephridia and nephridia is a tube like structure and this nephridia open inside the body and have cilia which collect the waste material from the body and excrete it out through the pore on the outer surface of the body these outer surface has pores so the inner pore is known as nephrostrom and the outer pore which open to the outer surface is known as the nephridio pore this is the nephrostrom which uh, open inside the body and the nephridio pore which open outside so this is a complete tube and this tube present in each segment and this is known as nephridia which collect the waste material from the body and then excrete it out now the concept of the nephridia and excretion is clear now now moving towards the nephridia nephridia as i have told you that nephridia what these are uh the small tubule the tubes and these tubes have two pores nephrostrom and nephridio you can see here and you can note down all these things and prepare your own notes from my lectures easily you can prepare now digestive system the digestive system is generally organized in the following order now you can see here the complexity organs are more uh, organized and developed as compared to other phylums like molluscs arthropods and many more other you can see here these are advanced arthropods are advanced molluscs are advanced and annelidas are more advanced so you can see here the mouth pharynx esophagus stomach intestine and anus very clearly you can see you can observe this is the mouth and then pharynx then esophagus this is the crop region which is the stomach region and then this is the gizzard region and this is the intestine is it clear and then uh, this alimentary canal is open to the outside through the anus so this is the complete digestive system of the uh, annelidas which is more complex than other phylum uh we have also seen 
the complex digestive system in molluscas and in uh, arthropods but less advanced less developed in platyhelminthes eschelminthes and many more now nervous system nervous system annelida have a central brain located in the head region the brain is connected to a ventral nerve cord that runs through the segment along the uh, bottom side of the body within each segment there is a ganglion that is a uh, con uh, concentrated region of the nerve tissues located on the ventral nerve cord nerve fiber extend into each segment from their ganglions is it clear this is the annelida uh, nervous system they have central brain which is located in the head as i have shown you people the this is the head region and in the head region there is a brain and in each segment what is present ganglion is present in each segment each segment has ganglion and from the brain which is present in the head region nerve cord arises you can see the ventral nerve cord is it clear and you can see the ganglions which are present in each segment and all these ganglion from each segment connected to the brain through the ventral nerve cord is it clear as i have shown you people here you can see the brain and you can compare it with this like this so it is clear now that each segment has what ganglion and the brain is present in the head region and these ganglions from each segment connected to the brain through the nerve cords is it clear for the coordination for the message uh, transmission now circulatory system circulatory system as and do not have a central well developed heart yes this heart is not well developed like the mammalian heart or um, other vertebrates heart they have don't have a central well developed heart and it have a closed circulatory system in a closed circulatory system blood is always contained within the blood vessels and it means blood move from the heart to the blood vessels this is the closed type circulatory system not open type as in the case of the phylum molluscas as in the case of the phylum arthropods the annelida circulatory system include two major blood vessels that run the length of the worm the, the dorsal blood vessels along the top and the ventral along the bottom now i will show you here this is the very clear uh, diagram which is showing the you can see here this this is the heart which is not a true heart but the heart and this heart is connected with the dorsal blood vessel and the ventral on the ventral side of the worm this is the ventral side this is the dorsal side dorsal blood vessel which carry the blood to all parts of the body is it clear now i am moving towards the reproductive system Reprodu reproduction in annelida is a fairly complex topic polychaetes and oligochaetes species can reproduce both sexually and asexually as i have shown you that these are the segmented worms and each segment has an ability to uh, develop into a new organism after cutting when the body divided into fragments each part has an ability so both type of this reproduction you can see here in the uh, arth uh, annelidas both sexual reproduction as well as asexual uh, sexual reproduction by means of the sperms and egg uh, specially gonads are present in these earthworms and you can see here uh, this is the sperm receptor receptacles testes specially testes and sperm sacs are present means gonads they have developed gonads and you can see the testes 
which produces a sperms and the ovaries they are not true uh, testes and ovaries of the vertebrates but they are they are they look like the testes and ovaries because uh, they produce uh, testes produces the sperms and ovary produces the egg so there is a sperm duct ovary duct you can see this is what this is all about the reproductive system this is the uh, these uh, annelidas uh, reproduce both sexually as well as asexually sexually by means of the sperms they have special gonads and each each segment has its own gonads means both they are hermaphrodites they are mostly all hermaphrodite means they have male and female gonads in the same form in the same organism so they are hermaphrodite you can see here the ovary and testes present in each segment of the worm means in single individual both male and female uh, organ reproductive organs are present so this condition is hermaphrodite condition now the concept is clear now now i'm moving towards the locomotion this is very important characteristics of the annelidas like uh, you see in case of the molluscas molluscas have um, foot muscular foot for the motion for locomotion and similarly arthropods have de well developed jointed legs so these uh, annelidas have bristles are ct ceta singular ct plural you can see here the small uh, small projections small these small projections are the ceta ct ceta is it clear now these cts are the locomotory organ of the annelidas help in locomotion and some species have bristles some species have bristles small uh, projections which help in the locomotion and these have longitudinal muscles too that run along the body wall from the uh, front to the back are surrounded by sheath of the circular muscles along the cts along the bristles these worms have well developed muscular system longitudinal as well as the circular muscles is it clear which help in its um, in the motion in the locomotion of these organisms they can easily move crawl is it clear this is the this is all about the locomotion in annelidas now the classification earth form most common uh, annelidas earth form and i have discussed these earth forms have segmented bodies and each segment is metameric segment and these all segments are identical and all segments have uh, their own reproductive system own nervous system and each and everything so these uh, uh, when these um, cut into these pieces these fragments are these segments cut into pieces uh, they de uh, they develop into a new uh, living organism or earth form is it clear so the next one bristles worms bristle worms they have bristles like earth form have cities these have bristles and live in the water burrows through uh, sand and mud to find food uh, and come in many uh, bright colors you can see here this is the bristle worms because of the presence of the bristles around the body you can see here the bristles which help in locomotions now the leeches leeches leech actually uh used for the uh sucking of the blood by the doctors and this is used to suck the bad blood out of the patient today some doctors are use them to prevent swelling uh, near a wound so leech are also segmented and worm 
and these are very important uh, and used in medical field for sucking of the bad blood this is all about the leeches and bristle worms and earthworm you must collect all these animals uh, in your lab and observe them and i hope so the lecture will be clear upon you people if you have any question ask me i will try my best to answer you so inshallah uh, tomorrow i will come with a new lecture so allah hafiz and thank you very much